Alright, what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. Today we're going to be talking about what's going to happen in DLC 4 and also what's going to happen after DLC 4 in terms of that super main master easter egg, whatever you want to call it. You know how you have to get all the easter eggs done in these DLC maps and it will put that picture of the gateworm in front of your map on your game. And what is the reason for that? That's what we're going to be discussing today. So we have a lot to talk about. So what I want to get into first is the cipher that was recently solved on the giant. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this, but for those of you who haven't, the ci there's a cipher on the giant that has just now been solved and it reads as follows when finished we will return to the house and the infinite that's it that's all the cipher reads but it means so much like it literally is jam-packed with information if we you know actually decipher this and kind of break this down so basically we're returning to the house is what we're going to be doing as soon as we finish the plan you know whatever Rick Toffin's grand master plan is obviously you know we're doing the steps to his plan by getting the souls and you know getting these blood vials whatever the blood vials may be for but we're getting the souls of these characters in order to do something whatever Rick Toffin's master plan may be now what's referred to as the house where well, you know where Samantha and Eddie are has been a pretty big part of the zombie storyline ever since the end of Origins where we got that cutscene with the Origins Easter egg and this confused everybody for literally three years there were so many different theories how maybe zombies was all a game or it was just you know so many different little things that it could have been like maybe this is set in World War II there was some crazy stuff out there but that's what we're going to be diving into today now Maxis has a very very interesting audio quote in which he talks about somebody visiting and explaining everything and he calls the guy M now this could be a number of different people now there are a couple theories, but there's two that I would like to discuss. Probably the most likely ones. Now, all he refers to is his M. It could be either, let me hear me out here, it could be either Maxis or Dr. Monty. Now, we haven't heard from Dr. Monty really that much at all, and it has been confirmed that we're going to hear about Dr. Monty before DLC 4, you know, kind of what his agenda and his plans are in the zombie storyline, but it also could be Maxis. So, hear me out here now. There's another audio quote from Dr. Maxis, another telephone radio message, in which he describes M visiting, you know, he visits Dr. Maxis and returns Samantha, and he said that his his presence defied logic or just defied reasoning he shouldn't have been there it made no sense how he was there now that would com that would completely make sense if another maxis from a different universe maybe from the 1.0 universe had showed up because as, as you guys know there's multiple universes now in the zombie storyline so it would make complete sense if one maxis was able to get a hold of samantha and return him to the maxis that lives in this house but like I said, this is just a theory, so this is not proven fact or anything. It could very well be Dr. Monty because there is some proof for that as well. And that being that we haven't really heard from Dr. Monty whatsoever, and we don't really know Maxis's relation with Dr. Monty. So this, that one's kind of a little bit more unpredictable. We have a little bit less information on, but that is still always a possibility. So I kind of want to know from you guys, is M Dr. Monty, or do you think it's Dr. Maxis, or do you think it's somebody that we haven't heard of whatsoever? It's going to be a new character that we don't know about at all. So I think it's probably one of those two. There's probably the most likely but I think at the end of DLC 4 not the super main easter egg but the end of DLC 4 you know the end cutscene after you completing that easter egg I believe that will be returning to the house because there are two parts to the cipher and we're going to get into the next part in a second but the first part of the cipher is returning to the house after the plan after you know whatever plan Rick Toffin has is finished then the second part of the cipher where it talks about returning to the infinite, which I believe is where the gate worm kind of thing kicks in here. So I think that the aspect of completing all the Easter eggs, you know, getting the super master Easter egg is where the infinite and all this kind of stuff, I guess, comes into play. So basically my reasoning for this is, you guys know, after you complete the Easter egg on the maps, you know, Shadows and all the other DLC maps, after completing the Easter egg, you will have the icon, whatever, whatever it be, the summoning key or the gate worms lit up. Now, I believe DLC 4 is going to have a different icon, it won't be a gate worm or it won't be a summoning key. It should be something completely different what it is I'm not really sure but after we have four gateworms I believe it will definitely be something different now I want to talk about the summoning key real quick just really quick because the summoning keys effect has not been actually taken place yet now this was said in by Jason Blundell in an interview and he was basically talking about how we haven't really used the power of the summoning key the summoning key is the most powerful artifact in the entire universe and we haven't even seen its true power yet right we've only collected souls with it we haven't really seen what's its true purpose and what it's actually supposed to do yet so that's kind of interesting interesting I would definitely keep that in mind for whatever the infinite or whatever this master plan may be but anyway so back to the super easter egg now this is going to require you to re to beat every easter egg on every DLC map and I believe it's going to be a similar kind of concept to buried you guys remember that w after completing all the easter eggs on transit and then on die rise and then on buried you know completing all those three it will give you the master plan you, know, you go hit that button either you can pick the Richtofen or Maxis side and that will give you the final ending for that now I believe that there's something you know huge going to happen like that some master plan that's going to happen 
happen as soon as you get all these gamers completed it'll be something you can do in DLC 4 but what exactly is I'm not really sure this is going to be very very tough to kind of speculate about because we have no information about DLC 4 they're keeping that extremely low key which I do enjoy but I do believe it's going to be something absolutely insane I really can't wait to see it so there is one more thing I want to talk about that really briefly inside the giant there is a chalk writing that says return through the ether now I believe returning through the ether will take us to the house or the infinite now that is just something to keep in mind that's something to play around with and kind of puzzle together uh, that's really all I got for you guys today I think the super Easter egg will be returning through the infinite that's basically my point I'm trying to get across there was a lot of stuff a lot of information we had to cover but basically all compiled down into a short phrase is that DLC 4 is going to have us returning to the house and then the super main Easter egg is going to have us returning to the infinite this is my theory I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it did take a long time on this video put a lot of effort into this so I'd appreciate if you guys do drop a like let's aim for 30 likes on this video I'd appreciate it very very much so anyway guys make sure you guys do leave a like again like I said and subscribe if you're new thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one